off one of my favorite stories maybe ever. This is six-year-old Danny Bottomley. Looks like he's, looks like life may be a challenge to him, right? Well, don't run that by this little bundle of energy. Ever since former jazz man Kyle Korver gave this young man the long and large Christmas gift, Danny's life has been as close to a joy ride as it can get. Yeah, you can take the, the whole thing. Yeah, can you see I'm smiling again? Yeah. Say it again. Turns around and just grins and says, "That's my ramp," and it Sitting is. It's his ramp. I go up and down, and, but this is where I just go straight. Go straight. And then I have to turn around. Right. And then if I keep going, then I stop. Yeah. And, and go inside the house. There's almost no stopping little Danny Bottomley these days. The six-year-olds turn the corner, no longer so severely limited by his spina bifida. He wants to be independent. He wants to be his own guy, and yeah. he does not like relying on other people, so <laughs> we're happy that he's able to do so much on his own now. What are you most proud of? Probably just the way that he just kind of attacks life. Like, I mean, it, this is normal for him, so he just does it. and. He just wants to be a kid and be involved, and that's what he does. Now it's a whole new world for Danny. The driving force behind the creation of Danny's ramp and dozens like it throughout Utah is former jazz man Kyle Corver. I love Utah. I, 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 I great memories here. I met my wife here. I love playing here for these fans. I love living life in Utah. It's a good life. It's good basketball. Good people. I talk with Utah all the time. <laughs> Kyle spent two and a half seasons here with the Jazz, setting an NBA record for three-point accuracy, almost 54% in the 2010 season. His last with the Jazz. His son of an Iowa pastor was raised with the phrase, "'Tis better to give than to receive." Now Kyle lives it. If, if you can give a little, give a little. If you can give a lot, give a lot. And he would tell you he's very blessed. So it's his job, you know, he, he gets to give a lot. The Kyle Corver Foundation has always given generously here in Utah, but it took some trial and error to ramp up this project to help kids. We try to find someone that we, we, we really believe in, that has a really great gift that, that, um, that, that they want to share. And Brad's a, a handyman, and uh, he's, 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 he has an incredible gift. I love it. He said, Brad, if you could do anything in the world, money was no object and you couldn't fail, what would you do? And I said, man, I'd go around the world and I'd build homes for people that can't afford them. And um, about two months later, he comes to me and says, well, why don't we try it? Let's do it. We originally wanted to like build houses and do all these big, amazing things. Um, and what kind of fell into our laps was, was uh, wheelchair ramps for houses, uh, for, for kids. We had a gal that called us and she had a 16 year old in West Jordan, Utah that has cerebral palsy and she's in a wheelchair. And she says, uh, I need a ramp. I got three steps and I cannot get her to school in the morning without just a nightmare. And uh, we just said, shoot, we build, we've done homes, we've done all sorts of things, let's go out and see if we can do it. And we built one back in 09, and we just thought, you know what, this is something that we can do and help people that really, truly need a need. And uh, today, we're just starting on our 117th ramp in the state of Utah, and that's two and a half years. These are really expensive things normally. Uh, and a lot of times, you know, stuff happens quickly. There's a car accident, something happens, and, and you, there's, this is, this is a, a need that they really need, you know? And so uh, it kind of fell into our lab. Brad got really good at it. The moment that I knew what we really did had meaning was uh, for a, a family down in Sandy. They had two children um, that uh, were in wheelchairs. They had spina bifida. They couldn't use their legs. They're nine and seven. We put the ramp in, and I didn't even have the handrails on it, and the kids are on the top of it, and they're like, I want to go down. I want to go down. I'm like, well, I shouldn't let you go down, but whatever. You can go down. And they just went up and down all day long and could get out to the road where the school bus would pick them up. And I looked over and I saw mom and dad and they were in complete tears. And I was like, man, is this that big of a deal? And yes, it is. It's just really cool. I mean, it's, it's fun to watch Brad do what he does. Um, obviously, you love helping families out in a tough situation. Um, and it's just a good all-around thing. Not only was he, you know, a ball player, but then he's turned to be able to help people. And I was amazed. I didn't think there was anyone who really thought about the needs of kids like this, um, you know, outside of the medical professions. So it's really neat to see somebody reach outside themselves and, and help a family because we couldn't have done this without him. Sometimes you do things in life and, uh, and there's just like a peace inside of you or just something feels right. 
You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like things just kind of like it's not like a look at what we did type of thing. It's just like that feels good, you know. And um, it's just it's just a lifestyle that you know we hope it you know is is attractive to other people if they see it and be like, yeah, you know what? Like I, I may not be able to build a ramp, but I can do this, right. and I, I could I could do this. Um, you know, this is my gift. We searched a long time for a home that could even be modified for him, and to. Uh, you know, to have this this ramp in front of it makes it a home for him. This isn't just, you know, where he sleeps. This is his home. Kyle and Brad's gift to Danny came just before Christmas. Obviously, it was a Christmas like no other. Kind of like Christmas when you came out and you could fly down the ramp? Yeah. Was it Christmas Day? No. But it was kind of like it? It was kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it was kind of like it. Awesome. He works really hard every step of the way, so to be able to get in and out of his own house without assistance and without, um, you know, without having to ask for help is the big thing to have to ask. Um, is is huge for his self-esteem. He's really, really skyrocketed. <laughs> oh, normal shoes. Awesome. <laughs> what a day, huh? You like that, huh? Yeah. Man, you can fly. Obviously, Danny is a sharp and strong young man. It's obvious how much happier he is now. That ramp has given him a whole new feeling of freedom. His mom, Erin, told me tonight how proud Danny is, knowing that this story may help other kids get their own ramp. Remember, all the ramps, about 120 of them, are made here in Utah by Brad for Utah families. Now, if you're moved to help Kyle or find your family in need of a wheelchair ramp, please visit Kyle's website at www.kylecorverfoundation.com. And there's a message from Clayton Corver on how to apply on our website at ksl.com.